Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5. Also, we're going to talk a little bit about Supergirl. We've got a new synopsis, but mainly about The Flash. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so they have released the synopsis for the mid-season finale, which is going to be coming out in the next few weeks or so is a two-part season finale so the episode before which I believe is episode 7 as far as I know is going to be the first part of it and it's called The Last Temptation of Barry Allen so this is going to be in the next few weeks it's going to be coming up very soon because yeah The Flash had a break last week but we're still pretty close to you know heading towards Crisis because Crisis is episode 9 after episode 8 which is this episode the Last Temptation of Barry Allen, and this is how the synopsis goes. With the Flash freshly infected by the monstrous Bloodwork, who they now are calling Bloodwork, they haven't called him that yet, Iris and Sisko battle to help Barry take control of himself before he's lost forever to Ramsey's influence. Meanwhile, the rest of Team Flash fight to reclaim control of Central City from Bloodwork's growing army. So let's break this down. This is a very interesting episode but also concept because it is a two-part episode we haven't had that since the gorilla city episode back in season three or was it season four i think it was season three i could be wrong i'm pretty sure it's season three anyway that doesn't matter so what is said in this episode synopsis is that barry is taken over i think that happens at the end of the episode before that's why it's a two-part episode so you have him being taken control of blood work so Bloodwork's in control of him, he's essentially using his powers to manipulate Barry, make him do stuff. Very similar to in Avatar The Last Airbender, how they bloodbend, basically, is sort of what I'm getting from it. Also, it's basically an iteration of the negative Flash when he's taken over by the negative Speed Force. I think it's a twist on that, in that he's going to be like the negative Flash. We know his costume changes, we've seen from behind the scenes photos, it's sort of like becomes more decrepit and can taken over sort of a bit like Bloodwork's powers so yeah he's taken control of him I think it's a twist in the comics of the negative speed force taking him over but instead of the negative speed force it is in fact just Bloodwork controlling his blood basically and so the next part of the synopsis says Iris and Cisco battle to help Barry take control of himself before he's lost forever to Ramsey's influence so this is going to be Ramsey's last episode because He's the villain for the first part of the season, then he's going to go away. I think the actor actually has a new show he's on that he's filming right now. So, yeah, I think he's going to obviously be defeated in this episode. I'm not sure if it's going to link into Crisis or not. I think there is a way that they could link it to Crisis, but I don't know what that way is right now. And so Iris and Cisco specifically help Barry take control of himself. I'm guessing it's going to be sort of like a lightning rod incident where Iris is going to be the one who has to reach out to Barry because Barry's going to be taken over. And I think Cisco may be the one to figure out how to get Bloodworks sort of powers or like influence out of Barry. I think it will be more like that. Okay, so the next bit of the synopsis goes like this. So, meanwhile, the rest of Team Flash fight to reclaim control of Central City from Bloodwork's growing army. So, what's going on here? The rest of Team Flash, that's like Caitlyn and everyone, they're going to be trying to defeat this sort of zombie army, I believe, is what the synopsis is getting at. Like, he's taken control, he's killed all these people, he's gained their powers, but now he has the ability to control them. Sort of similar how he nearly controlled that guy who was dead. Like, he sort of followed his actions, I think. Something like that is going to be happening in this episode. So, I guess that's going to be sort of like the big finale battle is going to be leading up to that. And then you obviously have the defeation of Bloodwork, because that's what the episode is going to be mainly about. But anyway, so let's talk about these photos. So, they released photos for the episode before, so The Last Temptation of Barry Allen, which I do believe is actually this week's episode, where this is the first part. We got photos, this is episode 7, so yeah, this is the first photo, we got Barry, and obviously Ramsey is in his apartment, so it does seem like it's Barry's apartment, I don't know, it could be Ramsey's, but anyway, so they are standing next to each other, like weirdly close, and maybe this is the part where 
Ramsey actually takes control of him and is able to manipulate him. Then we move on to the next photo. Barry is in a very confrontational position. Actually, now looking at it, it doesn't really look like Barry's apartment, so I'm guessing it's actually Ramsey's apartment. So Barry's like, come to confront him. He speeds in, then he sees Ramsey. Ramsey seems very, very kind of relaxed. He's got his hands in his pockets and everything like that. So it seems like he's somehow already prepared for Barry coming. Maybe he was just expecting it. Or maybe sit him up so he could take control of him. And the next photo is of Barry. He's in the apartment and yeah, this is just like a profile shot of him. You can see, you know, his reaction essentially to the next photo, which you've got Ramsey. He's sort of just smiling at him, smirking a little bit. And then this is really weird, but we have the return of a major character, that being Barry's mum, Nora Allen. So she's actually not here, I do presume, right? She's not time traveling or anything. So she's in Barry's mind. You can sort of tell from this photo. He's seen her, he's obviously heard her or something like that. And he put his hand on the table and now he's sort of like resting, like what the frick is going on here? You can see that in his face, he is very confused. So I'm guessing it's somehow Ramsey manipulating him, you know, with inside his head, maybe using his powers, and this leads to him taking full control of Barry for the next episode and towards the end of this episode. But why is Nora there? That's really interesting, and we have to theorize about that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. We got another photo of Nora and Barry, and in this photo, they are standing next to each other, just having a conversation. They're still in the same apartment. So it does seem like it is in Barry's mind where Nora has appeared for some reason. I'm not sure what that specific reason is, but also then we move on. Barry is wearing the same clothes, so I'm not sure if this is before or after. I do suspect that this is after, but Barry is back in Joe's house and you can tell it's sort of a bit different lighting. The settings changed and so Joe is comforting him, it looks like, and Barry really does look shocked. His eyes are full of emotion. Then we move on to the next photo. The next photo is of Barry and Joe hugging. Joe obviously comforting him. Barry's really distraught once more. Okay, so let's move on to talk about some Supergirl stuff. This is the mid-season finale synopsis, like The Flash, but for Supergirl. So this is episode 8. Episode 9 for these shows is going to be Crisis on Infinite Earths, the crossover event, the five day crossover event, obviously it's not going to be all in five days, whatever. Let's talk about this mid-season finale for Supergirl. So this is how it goes, Supergirl's struggle against Leviathan reaches a boiling point as she faces off against Rama Khan. Meanwhile, as Lena and Hope work to launch Project Non-Nasiri, Hope proves to be an invaluable asset to Lena. Okay, so let's break this down. So the first bit of the synopsis says that Supergirl's struggle against Leviathan reaches a boiling point. So. Obviously Leviathan is sort of in full throttle from the last few episodes, we have the Leviathan lady showing up, we had that old man showing up, they sort of like are out of nowhere. We have them killing people and you know, links to Andrea, Andrea doesn't want to be a part of them but she's forced to, now Lena has found out about Leviathan, Supergirl has found out about Leviathan in their own different ways. It's all going to come down to, you know, some sort of face off. But I don't think it's going to be concluded in the mid-season finale. I think it will continue into the back half. But anyway, so she faces off against Rama Khan. This is a character from the comics. We saw him in the last trailer. He is linked to Atlantis and is a villain in the comics. And I think they are definitely twisting, you know, his appearance in the show to be more along the lines of what they want. So that's why he's linked into Leviathan. I think he's definitely a member of Leviathan and... He's going to be facing off against Supergirl. I don't know how powerful he is, but considering he is going to be sort of a big presence as a villain in this episode, I would say he's pretty damn powerful. And so the next bit of the synopsis goes, Meanwhile, as Lena and Hope work to launch their project, non the series. So this is obviously what they've been working on. It's obviously taken a very long time to sort of get to the ending of this story and it seems to be dragging on a little bit to do with Lena and Eve. Okay, hope now, but it's all right. You know, I can't wait for it to kind of head to an end point. So that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe if you're new. We are 400 subscribers away from 100,000. I can't wait to finally get there. So share the video around, share the channel around. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
icy road.